What is up guys? Today we're going to be doing the island heist, the KO Persico heist. So we're going to be showing some of the setups and then maybe in a later video get into the heist itself. So to start you're going to need to make sure you have a CEO. I think you can also be a motorcycle, uh, motorcycle club thing, whatever that is. So you're going to need 25,000 as well. I really recommend getting the Sparrow. Uh, I think it's like just under two mil to uh, add on to the submarine. But for these missions, it makes it so much faster just to get around. So if you're gonna run this mission more than once, it's definitely an investment that will pay, pay itself back. All right. Here, the best thing to do is if you got like a deluxo or something right here, you're just gonna want to take out the guys in this car first. I definitely suggest avoiding shooting people too close to the oh, oh, shooting people too close as you don't want to fucking blow up that plane and have to go all the way back to your sub. Landing. Uh, All right. So once you get in, uh, into the plane, you're just gonna have to make sure you maneuver out of here properly. No, this is by far the most annoying part of this heist. After this, all the missions, including the heist itself, take like no longer than 15 minutes. What well, shouldn't at least. Marin, esperen ahí. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Shut up, bro. With your stupid ass hat. Okay, wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. Okay. Alright, so now that we're on the island, we're gonna have to get ourselves to the communications tower. So we're up here, and we gotta get all the way down here. Okay, so the best route to take, that I find at least, is you just get on the bike that you'll see up ahead, and I uh, cut all the way through here, up here, cut behind here, and then. You're gonna wait, this guy will turn around a bit, cut through a gate here, all the way down, and then up. But I'll show you guys though. You're gonna wanna be careful, a lot of this stuff, uh, like these bushes, GTA is stupid where like, you know, you can run through a pole, but you hit uh, a little twig and it'll send you flying. Actually got something covering. Whoa! There goes my Mac. I got something covering my mini map. Let me move that.
si nous tous ensemble. Ok. Up here. Have to wait for this fuck to die. Now that he's gone, we're good to go up here. First spot it can be right there. I think it can also be on that door right there. So then, uh, if it's not there in one of those two spots, you just have to climb up. It can either be on the first level here, and if not, then they're gonna make you climb up another. Yep, screw me, right? All right. You're gonna have to go up to the very top. Nice view though. I could own myself an island like this. It's gonna be up here. So for this, there's a couple different ways to do it. I don't really know the actual uh, proper way. I just know if you put them all straight, eventually you'll get them. Just like that. Usually it's the first or second time. Okay, I have access. The app is on your phone. Let us take a look. Yeah, so once you hack into that, you'll get this app on your phone, Sightseer, right there. First couple, there won't be anything. You'll just skip through it. Just the yard, bullshit like that. Cool panther. Can't take that though, so no point in looking. I think the fourth one here, yeah, you'll get a look. Oh, no, nothing in the safe in the vault there. We're getting some bear bonds. Nice. Untraceable cash must be useful for men like Mr. Rubio. And even more useful for those robbing him, huh? That's where any of the ruby necklaces, tequila bottles, um, the ruby and I guess the diamond necklace when the diamond necklace is there. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to exit out of that. So you'll flip through, now this is worth down. and you'll see in the next couple of rooms, there'll be gold, Location. cash, and paintings. I so, and also cocaine. Gold, I know it is paintings and gold are what you're looking for. Gold will take up, a full thing of gold will take up three quarters of, or no, 66% is it, it is, two thirds of your bag and a painting will be 50% so make sure that if you're gonna grab a painting and if you're gonna grab a painting and you also want to grab some gold you gotta make sure to grab that painting first the best thing to do though is to fill up with straight gold as it is worth the most Keep hitting B. My bad. Adding to 
So that's the last location for the money. There's a couple things you can locate here. You got a broken fence, you can notice here, or you can vault in, I believe. Or out. You're also gonna need to get a rope for that. There's the front gate. So this is where you're going to want to run around at the end, but we'll talk about that later. Here's another broken fence here that you can use as an escape or entrance point. So that's everything. Just like that, you're gonna wanna die because it spawns you right next to the plane, but 